Well, hello. Wild Montanans back. Uh, we just got back from the dunes on the old four-wheeler out in Oregon. Uh, so I'm just definitely going through. I was looking at going camping this weekend, way out in the desert, probably a 30 mile ride to a camping spot. And kind of took it for a small little test drive after getting back from the coast. And I noticed my front tire is about to fall off. What I mean it's about to fall off, look how loose this is. Compared, compared to the other side. Okay, I do know that one side is loose because of the tie rod end, but I am positive that this tie rod end is still solid. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it apart real quick and let's see what the damage is. It could be just a loose bearing, but I have a feeling that it is something a little bit worse because I did tighten tighten this up quite a bit. Or I did tighten it before I did go up to the dunes, but you know, just with a hand wrench and that was about it. So let's get some of that grease off. Let's find that shear pin. Let's go ahead and pop that guy off real quick. Oh jeez. Okay, well, it could be just bearings, but I mean, let's just see if this just happened to back off just a little bit and see what. Oh, oh holy smokes. Now, that's definitely loose. Well, let's pull that shear pin. Okay, let's go ahead and check this guy out. Okay. Still on there tight, but I wonder what it is. I wonder if I can tighten it up a lot. Uh oh, that is stripped. Holy smokes. I don't know if you can see this. But that is definitely stripped. See how bad it is stripped. Maybe it's just a castle. Maybe it's just a castle. Oh, nope, it's the whole thing. <laughs> Holy smokes. Try not to get the camera all greasy. If you can see right in there, that guy is definitely stripped, and then the inside of that is definitely stripped too. I don't even think this piece will tighten up on here. I guess that's why you always have a shear pin, something in case something catches it gets over tightened this bolt strips out I can't imagine I can't can't believe that this just stripped out it's on its own I haven't had to take this hub off or replace the bearings for probably two three four years at least so I don't know how it could have gotten over tightened unless it just happened to 
somehow tighten itself up, which I find hard to believe. Let's go ahead and tighten this up to see how bad this really is. Maybe I can just put a new nut on it. Oh yeah. That, that nut is loose on there. Look at that. <laughs> that is why you always have shear pins. Holy smokes. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do on this, but I think um, I'll do a little research. I think you can just uh, pull this hub off, and I think I can replace this piece out of this piece. I remember looking at stuff up uh, the front hub, and I believe that this I think I can get the whole axle. I know I can get this whole front axle for about 55 bucks or 60 bucks, but I'm wondering if I can't just get this front piece for. So I think I might have found a solution. I was digging through the old bolt bucket. I happened to find a new castle nut that looks like it's going to fit. Granted, it is not one that has a washer like the one previous on there, but you know what? It fits. So I got it started with the wrench, found a 1516 socket, and now we're going to use old handy dandy impact wrench to put it on and hope it holds. If not, we're going to use a welder next. say that fixed the problem so got that put on with the impact wrench and I found the biggest shear pin I could find in my set that would fit in this hole I think it'll be good to go I guess we'll find out does it for this episode with the old Kodiak 2002 Kodiak 400 um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get my stuff together tonight go camping tomorrow and let's see if I can make it out to this camping spot that is 30 miles out in the middle of the desert and below freezing weather you know the old girl hasn't left me stranded yet even though we've been close she has started and do or made it you know knock on wood so uh, definitely sub hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, show your friends, and uh, if you do not see me in a month, I probably froze to death and got stranded. Alright, see you guys.